TJ, you and um, Lonzo were, were pretty close to triple doubles there. How, how cognizant were you guys of that, and, and were you um, thinking about maybe trying to get that or stay in the game to get that? Um, I don't think me or Lonzo were too really – we didn't really notice it that much. I mean, we were just trying to play on selfish basketball, and that's just what we do. Um, we like to move the ball, every one of us, and that's what we were doing, and we did that really well tonight. Coach praised uh, the play where you – you got the steal, and then you fed him in the corner, missed the shot, still fed him again. Can you talk about uh, what, what you were thinking on the court, and, and were you cognizant of what was happening, or was it just natural? Um, I think it was just natural. I mean, I saw Aaron make a great play, um, and then he was open. So, I mean, I hit it to him, and then the rebound was it, and he was open again, so I hit it to him. Um, I, don't, I wasn't really noticeable about it, but he was open, so I, I passed him the ball. TJ, coach said he thought you figured something out against Nebraska, maybe how you can play against some of the bigger guys down low. Uh, is that the case, and do you feel more comfortable down low against these big guys? Definitely. Um, Nebraska, I kind of got beat up a little bit, and I really never played against uh, multiple guys that big. I played against one or two, but not a, not a whole team. Um, so I really realized how to uh, get rebounds against guys like that, and I think I'm starting to do a better job of it. Aaron. Can you explain, when you're, in a team, when you're that far ahead, how hard is it to stay focused on what your coach is telling you I mean, how do you stay in the game and, and keep going at it? Um, just my mindset, really. You know, you just got to come out and play. That's basically it. Um, for Aaron, uh, Coach talked about your, your free throws tonight. He said you'd been uh, upset with how you'd been shooting the ball and, and, you know, spent extra work there. What was different for you tonight? What was the difference? Um, I just locked in more, I guess, and stayed with my routine a lot more this game. So that's really helped me. And I went nine for nine. So that's pretty good. Can you guys talk about um, going to Vegas and it's the site of the Pac-12 tournament? Are you are kind of excited to see what that uh, arena is going to look like and a little bit of a preview there and, and kind of a showcase game? Um, yeah, it's going to be fun out there in Vegas. You know, we're playing against a very good Ohio State team and it should be fun just to go out there and see the arena and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I agree. It's, it's a good to just get a first game in this arena that will be the Pac-12 tournament and we're playing a really tough team. So it'll just be a fun experience out there. To see TJ, uh, just the, the many ways he can impact the game. Uh, I think he scored 14 out of the 17 points that first half run you guys had, and he was doing a three-point, put tip in, dunk, uh, jumpers. I mean, it's just like he can just do it all. Yeah. You know, TJ is great. Um, like you said, he can do everything. He doesn't really have too many weaknesses on the basketball court, and it helps that he's also 6'11". So I love playing with him. He's also a good friend of mine. So the chemistry's there, and it's just fun on the court with him. How did this team get so unselfish so quickly? It just seems so natural. Was this their first practice? Everyone just got it or how that? Um, just felt? practice combined with Coach Alford. You know, him being ahead of the whole organization when he tells us to share the ball, obviously we're going to all share it, and then it helps that we're winning. So nobody has any egos on this team. And like I said, it's just fun playing with everybody. I almost wonder what it's going to take for somebody to beat you at this point. I mean, you guys have played really well. Don't seem to have any, like, real glaring weaknesses right now. Uh, we just take every game, uh, one at a time, you know, one and all every week. Lonzo, were you cognizant that you were that close to a triple-double and, and same with TJ? Uh, n no, not really. I just play. And um, I found out about TJ after the game, which was kind of crazy if two guys could have got it. Like I said, all we care about is winning. You guys got Ohio State on, on Saturday. Uh, what kind of challenge do they present? Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see in film tomorrow and be ready to play them. Um, uh, for you, uh, Coach talked about how uh, tonight was a good defensive effort from you guys. Uh, what did you think about the, the defense tonight? Um, it's getting there. You know, obviously, we're not perfect yet. And um, he always talks about going from good to great. And when the defense picks up with the offense, that will, that's when we'll be great. What still needs to change for you guys to get better on that end? Um, just rebounding, ball pressure, you know, typical things. Just, like, just got to stay focused and um, put your mind to it and do it. When you get up by 20, 30, 40 points, how do you stay focused on, right. on trying? Um, you know, you got to go out there and play no matter what the score is. Coach Alford always says it, you know, don't take time to get worse, build bad habits, just go out there and play best. This is the uh, site where you'll be playing the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, in March, uh, Saturday, where you'll be playing. Are you, do you like to play in, in arenas and get kind of a preview of where you'll be playing bigger games later? Is that, do you uh, like that? No, it doesn't really affect me. I try to play the same where we play at.